Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Today we have 68 days left to school. Today is the 68th day that uh, we have 68 days more until it's going to be the last day of school. How is that possible? Time sure flies, right? Well, we're going to have fun with 68. Let's figure out um, what percent is 68 days out of a whole year. And then we can say we have that much, we have that much percent left uh, of school um, according to a school year. So we, since we have 68, we know 68 is the days we have left of the school year. Um, but if we said out of, and remember a fraction is always out of, if we cut the whole, all these days up into a whole year, we know we have 365 days in the school year or in, in a year, 365. Actually, it's 365.25 um, because we have a quarter and eight hour period, but that's why we have leap year. But just for this exa example, we are going to find out what percent is the rest of the school year to a whole year. Now, I like before I do, because we know that this is a division problem. All fractions are division problems. Even the division sign has dot, dot for the numbers that go in here. And all division are all percents. Always remember that. So, but before I do that with these big numbers, I know um, this is an even number and this is um, not. So I don't know if I would be able to divide these. So I think I'm just going to go ahead because I think it would take so much work to figure out what a common factor is that I might as well put in the extra work of just dividing the big numbers. Does that make sense? But that's how I do it. You might do it differently. So I know this is 68 divided by or divided by 365. Now I have to cut 68 up into 100 pieces. And how do I do that? Well, I add my symbol that separates the whole numbers from the partial numbers. And then this place value here cuts it up into 10 equal pieces. And then this place value cuts it up into 100 equal pieces. We call this the tenths place value, and this is the hundredths place value. Okay, well, I just bring my decimal point up straight up as well, so I don't ever lose my, my place value here. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to estimate my solution, and I know this rounds pretty close to 700, front end estimating, and this rounds pretty close to 400. Well, how many times does 400 go into 700? That would just be one. So that's my, I don't even need to do it on the side. I just know that 1 times 365 is 365. Now I subtract. I got 5, 1, 3, 1, 5. Well, that's pretty close. So I know since it's so close, I'm just going to guess 9. Because if these are very close, that means it almost goes in one whole time. See, 365 is very close to 315. So my guess is going to be 9, but I'm still going to do it on the side here just so I don't mess up my uh, work over there. So 365 times 9. You know, I'm going to do it a different way. I know that 365 times 9 is the same thing as 365 times 10 minus 365. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply 365 by 10. 365 by 10, I just add my 0, and then I'm going to subtract 365. To me, that's a little bit easier. Once again, you might do it a different way, but this is the way my crazy brain works. Oh, you know what? Look, that was just a bit too much. So my guesstimation that because it was so close, it wasn't quite enough because I came up with 3,285. And three, when I bring my zero down here, 3,285 is a bit too big. So that didn't work. Now I'm doing this real time. I didn't pre, pre uh, do this problem because I want to show you what really goes on when you're doing these problems manual. So now I know it's going to be 8. Without a doubt, it's going to be 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And we're not going to do any, um, any further to get remainders. But I know that 18 hundredths is the same thing as 18%. Because hundredths means out of 100, and percent is Latin for out of 100. So now, back to our original problem. Uh, the remaining time left of the school year is what percent of a whole year? Well, it's 18%. Okay. Have fun with percents. Find things in your own home that you can um, mentally or physically cut up into holes and then find out, like, maybe you have some Cheerios left floating in the bowl of cereal. And pick up a scoop and count how many little Cheerios you have in your spoon and how many are floating on the top and find out what percent is in your spoon. What percent's still in them? You know, have fun with it. This is a, it's a really a great time to explore numbers using fractions, percents, and decimals.